Let us now draw frequency polygon and frequency curve. Example. The following is a frequency distribution of maximum temperature recorded weekly in a certain year at a certain observatory. Draw frequency polygon and frequency curve. Frequency distribution for the temperature recorded is as follows. The temperature between 10 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius was recorded for three weeks. Temperature between 15 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius was recorded for eight weeks. Temperature between 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius was recorded for 11 weeks. Temperature between 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius was recorded for 12 weeks. Temperature between 30 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius was recorded for 10 weeks. Temperature between 35 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius was recorded for 5 weeks. Temperature between 40 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius was recorded for 3 weeks. Total number of weeks 52. Solution First, we prepare frequency distribution table with class marks. We will add one additional class mark 7.5 preceding the class mark 12.5. Its frequency is 0. Also, we will add one additional class mark 47.5 succeeding the class mark 42.5. Its frequency is 0. Let's draw two graphs simultaneously. Then draw x-axis, y-axis. We will take scale as 1 cm is equal to 5 degrees Celsius on x-axis and 1 cm is equal to 2 weeks on y-axis. Let's take class marks on x-axis and frequencies on y-axis. Now, we will plot the points like this. We will also plot additional points with class marks 7.5 and 47.5 with frequency 0. In first figure, we will join all the successive points including the two additional extreme points by straight lines. We get the desired frequency polygon showing distribution of maximum temperature. In second figure, we will join all the successive points including the two additional extreme points by smooth freehand curve. We get the desired frequency curve showing distribution of maximum temperature. Let's look at the uses of frequency curve. Number one, it gives idea about mean, mode and median. Number two, it gives idea about the spread of data. Number three, it gives idea about the symmetry of the distribution. Let's look at the example in which we have to draw histogram and hence draw frequency polygon for the frequency distribution. The given table shows frequency of rainfall recorded in the years. Draw histogram, hence find the frequency polygon for the given frequency distribution. Frequency distribution for rainfall is given. Solution First, we will draw a histogram with class intervals on x-axis and frequencies on y-axis. Scale taken is 1 cm is equal to 5 cm of rainfall on x-axis and 1 cm is equal to 2 years. Now, let's mark the midpoint of upper side of each rectangle of the histogram. Then, take one additional rectangle of height and midpoint 0 preceding the first rectangle and one more additional rectangle of height 0 succeeding the last rectangle. Now, join the successive points by straight line and we get frequency polygon. This is a desired frequency polygon using histogram showing rainfall distribution. 
Let's solve exercise 6.3. Number 1. Represent the following data using frequency curve. Electricity bill of rupees 200 to 400 was given to 362 families. Rupees 400 to 600 was given to 490 families. Rupees 600 to 800 was given to 185 families. Rupees 800 to 1000 was given to 63 families. Solution Prepare a frequency table. The frequency table shows electricity bills in classes 200 to 400, 400 to 600, 600 to 800, 800 to 1000. Respective class marks are 300, 500, 700 and 900. Corresponding frequencies are 362, 490, 185 and 63. Draw x-axis with scale 1 cm equal to rupees 200 and y-axis with 1 cm 200 families. Plot class marks x1 on x-axis. Take frequencies f1 on y-axis. Plot the points f1, x1. Plot additional points with two additional classes with frequency 0 and the other succeeding class with frequency 0. Join all successive points including two extreme points by a smooth curve. The closed figure obtained is the desired frequency curve. Number 2. Represent the following data using histogram and draw frequency polygon. 30 to 39 words are typed by two typists. 40 to 49 words are typed by 8 typists. 50 to 59 words are typed by 15 typists. 60 to 69 words are typed by 12 typists. And 70 to 79 words are typed by 3 typists. Solution Prepare continuous frequency table. We subtract 0.5 from lower limit and add 0.5 to upper limit to get continuous classes. Derive class mark by finding the average of upper and lower limits. Now, first column gives classes, second column gives frequencies and third column gives class marks.